in this video, you will see the start of the walk outdoors. I have already started this walk indoors, both with a slip lead when Arrow was a puppy, refer to that video, and also with the prong collar indoors. Before you take the puppy outdoors, make sure that you have done a lot of the work indoors with distractions. People walking around, possibly other dogs if they're not intervening, you have to work your puppy up to that or you're going to be using the mechanism of the prong collar too much. And I also do, don't agree with it early on in heavy use. This is just to give you a little bit of guidance and a little bit of help when you take the puppy out. You know, for puppies, I would advise that you contact a professional or make sure that you do your homework first, okay? We'll also see Arrow's first walk. Hopefully, you've been exposing um, your puppy and doing socialization just like in my puppy channel I don't teach much obedience when they're really young I teach lots of manners inside the house and expose the puppy to my environment I need the dog to be used to all kinds of noises sounds and different things that it's never experienced before I am tossing the kibble is to get her out in a bit of a distraction and then I can straight line the pressure on the on the prong collar and the long leash it's a 15 20 foot leash the the little bit of pressure get her guided in the moment she's guided in or decided that she's gonna come towards me I mark that with the yes whatever your word is that you're using as a precursor to the to the actual reward her in my case kibble I need to do a lot of repetitions, so I'm using kibble, not treats. I don't want to give my dog diarrhea or an upset stomach um, or cause overweight issues. She is a growing puppy. Kibble, her portion for that meal. Pressure on the collar. The dog has decided to come towards me. Yes, when she makes it, reward. of engagement noises and body movements quick pick up the pace slow down switch direction when the dog's like ah, grass oh leaves kissy kissy mm -hmm. come on come on some type of uh, encouragement from you whether it be verbal let's go a word an indicator again uh, a kissy kissy sound something like let's go something that will, will get her mind off of that and get her on moving so you do not need uh, to use the tool heavily if you find yourself uncoordinated using the tool heavily work that stuff inside and don't go past the driveway do yourself some favors and make do yourself a favor and make it easy to train your dog it shouldn't be a headache just incorporate it on a daily basis you don't need to do hours and hours of training sessions a day incorporate it each time your dog's gonna get a meal and you're available work her for it It's a 
same concept that I do with all the dogs. Heel. Good. Set. Yes. And I'm still rewarding. It's going to be a little bit more heel. I'm sporadic with the, with the phones. I don't have anybody to film for me. So, But this is her first walk. Heel. Very gently on that tool. Very gentle. No corrections whatsoever. Um, if she gets distracted, I use a lot of engagement. Tons of engagement. Heel. God, no correctiveness um, at all. If I need some pressure on the prong, it's going to be really, really gentle. Set. Yes. Bear with me with the phone. Because I'm one-handed here. Yep. If you're finding that you're struggling a lot, go back to your driveway. Good girl. Yes. Yes, girl. <laughs> I would love it if you guys join in the crew and like and subscribe.